Hello and welcome everyone. I am Ajay Aditya C and today we are going to be looking at the three order fulfillment methods that are available within Zoho Inventory. This webinar is the second in line in the series of webinars that we are hosting this holiday season. It's designed for retailers, wholesalers and product based SMBs who may or may not have adopted a digital order management system. So please feel free to ask questions using the chat interface and either I or one of the panelists from my team will answer them for you. After this session, I'll be uploading the recorded version to YouTube along with links to the related materials. So please check the video description when you get to see the recording. If you have questions related to fulfillment at a later point in time, then you can email them to support at the rate zoho-inventory.com. With that out of the way, let's begin the session. Order cycle. Before we talk about fulfillment, one must first understand a typical sales cycle within Zoho Inventory. So let's pull up a flow diagram to see how this works. In Zoho Inventory, the sales process starts when a user drafts a sales order by associating a customer to a list of items needed and calculates the money owed by the customer. The draft sales order gets confirmed when it's emailed to the customer. Alternatively, it can also be manually confirmed by the user. Once this is done, the user can do a couple of things. They can convert it into an invoice, create package slips for the items in stock and ship them either by themselves or via an integrated shipping carrier. The sales cycle gets completed when three things happen. Number one, when the payment comes in and number two, when all the goods get delivered safely and lastly, when there are no product returns that need to be processed for this order. When all these three criterion have been met, the sales cycle is complete. When fulfilling an order, if there are some items that have insufficient stock, then you still have a couple of more options to choose from, depending on how much time you have on your hands. You can either convert the sales order into an unlinked purchase order. You can also place the unavailable items on back order and then fulfill them or you can have a preferred vendor drop ship them for you. Drafting and processing a sales order. Now that we have an idea of the options at hand, let's quickly draft a sales order with three different items of varying quantities and prices. Once this is done, let's quickly email the order to the customer and get this confirmed. I'm going to invoice this order with the help of an option. The order is now ready for further processing. I'm going to quickly create three packages to house all the items that belong to this order using the create button on the top right corner. Now we are ready for fulfillment. Order fulfillment in Zoho inventory is broadly classified into two types, manual shipments and carrier shipments. Manual shipments, to ship the package let us navigate to one of the desired package slips and press the ship button. This gives us the following two options. We can either ship manually or we can ship via an integrated shipping carrier. Let's ship the first package manually by selecting ship manually. In the window that follows, fill up the shipment order number 
career and other fields. If the shipment is already delivered, then check the option that reads shipment already delivered. If you wish to notify the customer about the shipment, then click on the send notification to customer option. If you are ready with the shipment order draft, then you can just click on the save button to successfully record the shipment. A packing slip with the tracking ID and the shipment details is created now that you have hit the save button. If you have integrated your Zoho inventory account with AfterShip, a, a third party service, then you can track the status of your manual shipments as long as there is a tracking ID. Manual shipments are useful when you have your own fleet of trucks or messengers, when the customer is responsible for collecting the goods from you, and when you are shipping goods through a shipping carrier outside of the list of available shipping integrations within Zoho Inventory. Shipment via Carrier The other standard option on the menu is Ship via Carrier. To do this, you will need to first integrate a shipping carrier to Zoho Inventory. Today, I'm going to show you how you can integrate your USPS and UPS accounts with Zoho Inventory. And after that, I'll tell you how you can generate shipment labels for them. Let's start with USPS. One of the largest shipment carriers in the world, USPS carries more than 47% of the world's mails. If you are interested, you can go look up this information on fax.usps.com. With such a track record, calling it a mere postal service would be a huge understatement because to you, the online seller, USPS is one of the more safer, cheaper, and faster options for sending products to your customers who may be living just about anywhere. So let's see how we can make the most of this carrier inside of Zoho Inventory. If you are setting up the USPS integration for the very first time, then you will need to create an account with Pitney Bowes, our partner in shipping integrations. So let's see how we can integrate Zoho Inventory and USPS. To begin, log in to your Zoho Inventory account, navigate to Integrations and select Shipping Channels. Once you are inside Shipping Channels, click on the Setup Now button adjacent to USPS. In the following window, start by creating a Pitney Bowes account. Click on the Create Account link in the Setup page and subscribe to one of their plans. Before you do, please read their terms and conditions carefully. The account created through this link will be registered under Zoho. After signing up, enter your Pitney Bowers login credentials such as the registered email and password. Once you're ready, click Connect to complete the integration. Now that we have integrated USPS with Zoho Inventory, let's see how we can generate a shipping label quickly. Generating an USPS shipping label. Now I'm going to ship one of the yet to be shipped packages on this particular sales order. To begin, Navigate to the preferred package and click on the ship button. Choose the ship via carrier option in the drop down that follows. In the next page, select the carrier as USPS. Now, every carrier shipment have three stages or phases as I would like to call them. So the first phase or the first step would be validating addresses. The built-in address verification system will verify whether the addresses are real places and this process will determine the shipping options available to you in step 2 or phase 2. Please note that this system currently works only in select countries and locations and if there are any mistakes in the addresses 
you will have to correct them before you can proceed. Step 2. Configuring the shipment. This is the place where you specify what's in the shipment and how you have packed it. It includes details like when do you want to ship it, what are the package dimensions, what is its weight and so on. After that, the system will show you various shipment options along with the rates from USPS. Choose the one that suits the needs of either you or your customer and hit the create shipment button. Now we are moving on to step three, generate the label. Here you will find the shipping label being generated for you based on your preferences in the previous two steps. USPS will automatically keep track of the shipments you make through them and update their statuses in Zoho inventory. UPS The rise of e-commerce has made order fulfillment an inseparable part of sales and it means that shipping carriers now play an essential role in your customer's shopping satisfaction. They are now an integral part of purchase and have a direct impact on how good an online customer's buying experience is. So it is important to choose a reliable shipping carrier to help you deliver your promises to your clients. If UPS is your choice and if you send out a lot of shipments every day, then you don't need the hassle of duplicating data between your order management system and UPS. And there's also some room for human error and miscommunication during data entry. But what if you could simplify the process and manage your shipments from a single app? Oh, you can. I'll show you how you can integrate an order management system and a shipping carrier, specifically Zoho Inventory and UPS. There are three things you need in order to do this. You need a UPS account, a Zoho Inventory organization, and a computer with internet access. To begin this integration, open your Zoho Inventory and navigate to Shipping Carriers under Integrations via the sidebar. Click on the Setup Now button below the UPS logo to access a setup screen. Enter your UPS account number. As for the UPS invoice details or these four fields between the UPS account number and address, they are only necessary if you have any delivery services invoices within the last 90 days. And if you do have any such invoices, pick one of the last three invoices and record its information here. Enter your address and hit the save and continue button to finish the integration setup. Now that we have seen how to connect your UPS account with Zoho Inventory, let's see how it works by having some products shipped. For this demonstration, I'm going to be using a Sandbox UPS account to generate a sample shipping label. Okay, so I am inside the sales order right here. As you can see from the particular package entry, all the items have been packed and are ready to ship. Now I am going to ship the items by clicking on the create button from the top right corner and selecting the shipments option. And then I'm going to select the ship via carrier option to initiate the shipping sequence. Just like USPS, there are three steps involved in creating a UPS shipment label. Step one, validating addresses. The built-in address verification system will verify whether the addresses are real places. And in this process, will determine the shipping options available to you in step two. Please note that this system currently works for select locations and countries and if there are any mistakes in the addresses, you'll have to correct them before you can proceed. Step two, configuring the shipment. This is the place where you specify what's in the shipment and how you have packed it. It includes details like when do you want to ship it, what are the package dimensions, 
what is its weight and so on. After that, the shipment will show you various shipment options along with the rates from UPS. Choose the one that's appropriate to this particular order and hit the create shipment button. Step 3. Generate the label. Here you will find the shipping label being generated based on whatever you have selected during the past two steps. You have a choice to either have the system send out a notification automatically to your customers or you can manually notify your customers. UPS will automatically keep track of the shipments you make through them and update their statuses in Zoho inventory. Also, you can use UPS for domestic shipments in many countries unlike before. So this carrier is no longer limited to just US and Canada. So please feel free to integrate UPS and Zoho inventory and try shipping goods to your customers using this integration. With that, we have covered the regular methods of order fulfillment. Now let us see how we can fulfill a similar order under a low stock or a stockout situation. And to do that, we are going to employ these two methods, namely back ordering and drop shipment. Back ordering. Back ordering is a method where a vendor can purchase goods from their suppliers to fulfill an order after confirming the order to the customer. This is primarily done for non-time sensitive orders or advanced orders where the vendor has at least a week or two to fulfill a particular order. In such an arrangement, the customer is generally notified in advance regarding the need to back order the items that they have purchased. So let's see how this works in Zoho inventory. To start with, you have a confirmed sales order with items that have insufficient stock to fulfill this particular order. Now you can back order items either fully or partially depending on the missing stock. If you have some stock available and wish to ship them right before you put the rest on back order, then now is the time to do so. This is because the moment you move a sales order into back order, it will be frozen until your supplier delivers the goods to you. So please keep that in mind. Upon opting to back order, you will be asked to draft and email one or more purchase orders to your suppliers. The sales order will be kept on hold until the goods arrive. The arrival of goods into your warehouse is captured using the purchase receipt document as well as the vendor bill that you record against the associated purchase orders. And then you can pack and ship the now available goods. Back ordering goods. So let's see how we can do this within Zoho inventory. Now I have a confirmed sales order right here that has items of insufficient quantity. So you can now place these items on back order by either clicking on the back order now link within the banner you see here or by clicking on the more button from the top right corner and selecting the back order option from the drop down. In the window that follows, select the items and the quantities that you wish to back order. Once you are ready with everything, hit back order to finish. The sales order in question will be moved to an on hold status and you will see the purchase order form in front of you. Select the preferred vendor on the purchase order and fill out important information like the warehouse to be delivered as well as the quantity of items that you need and hit save to finish. Email the draft purchase order or you can also manually mark it as issued if you are personally delivering the purchase order to your vendor. Once the goods reach your designated warehouse, navigate to the purchase order and create a purchase receipt, which is similar to a typical GRN or a goods receipt note. Once you're done, 
convert the purchase receipt document into a vendor bill using the convert to bill option that can be found below the purchase receipt tab. Doing this will complete the purchase cycle. For the most part, of course, you will have to pay your vendors and record your bill payments as well. But then for the back order, this would unfreeze the sales order and your team members will be notified via the bell icon on the top right corner. And as I said before, the sales order will no longer stay on hold. You can then create packing slips and record shipment orders or generate labels via an integrated carrier to fulfill this particular sales order. Drop shipments. Now we have come to the final method of the day and that is drop shipment. Drop shipments are most useful to those who maintain two things, a strong network of vendors and a virtual inventory. This method allows you to act as a link between customers and vendors without actually connecting the two. Several online sellers and influencers often use this method to cater to their niche. They have a strong follower or customer base that trusts the seller's domain knowledge and the seller while not having a warehouse or a physical stock of the items has instead a good network of suppliers both locally as well as internationally that can pack and ship goods directly to his or her customers on behalf of our seller in question. The customers will be invoiced by our seller and whenever they get paid, the seller pays for the goods at negotiated rates to the goods supplier. This is a good way of making money with less capital investment if you have a respectable follower base or audience. Now let's see how we can handle drop shipments within Zoho inventory. We begin this exercise by drafting a sales order for a customer within Zoho inventory. As you can see, the items added to this order have nil stock. We are going to save the order first and then confirm it. Next, I'm going to go back to the sales order and then click on the more button. And in the drop down that follows, I'm going to select the drop ship option. Doing so will take us to a purchase order creation page where all the items as well as the customer's delivery name and address will be present. Select the desired vendor and specify the expected shipping date. Once you're ready, hit save to finish drafting the purchase order. Next, we'll need to email this order to the vendor in order to confirm the drop shipment. Upon doing so, the associated sales order will be considered as a special dropship order and will now be available under a dedicated filter within the sales orders module. The package and shipment options for the associated sales order will now be disabled. Now I am going to convert the order into an invoice quickly within two clicks. You can then move on to record the payment made by your customer against the invoice. Once done, you can proceed to pay the vendor by converting the associated purchase order into a vendor bill. And that completes the dropship cycle. Drop shipments do not affect your stock levels since they are not tracked as a part of the FIFO lot tracking algorithm, which is the core essence of Zoho inventory. And so you can use this whenever a low stock situation appears and you are confident that your vendor will fulfill such orders on time on your behalf. That concludes the three order fulfillment methods available within Zoho inventory. To summarize, we saw how to ship goods manually, following which we integrated Zoho inventory with USPS and UPS to see how we can generate shipping labels for both of these carriers. We then saw a low stock scenario wherein we put the items on a sales order in back order and then we fulfill them 
once they were made available. We then saw how to drop ship a sales order and run a virtual inventory business inside of Zoho Inventory. Hope you found this session useful. I'll be adding the help resources for all of these topics under the YouTube description of the webinar recording later. If you have questions, please email them to support at the rate zoho-inventory.com. Signing off, this is your host Ajay Aditya C and I'll see you guys next time. Take care.